welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I love Christmas time um, because I get to spoil my kids and if you see me our Christmas videos my children are really lucky <laughs> um, they are well provided for by their father who um, makes sure that they have the entire cake and three layers of icing basically <laughs> and this year I have been fortunate too and that I've been a little indulged yay <laughs> I you know us mummies we tend we would rather spend on our children than on ourselves <laughs> but my kids really surprised me this year and I'm really happy about it because um, they're getting to the stage now where they understand that giving was as cool as getting all right so this is what I got for Christmas um, some with Christmas money and some given directly at uh, all here I'm super duper happy about it I'm gonna start off with something actually I'll start off with something I brought with some Christmas money I got now it may look because it's a secondhand horse like a Bratz horse or something very mundane but this is actually a Strutz horse I never thought I would be able to get one Um, I don't think I've ever seen one listed on eBay these are a very controversial uh, you can look up the controversy yourself <laughs> if you please but this is um, a horse that if you ever do, do see one and you're fortunate enough to get it with its uh, accessories and clothing look good on you I picked this up for six dollars New Zealand they look like Bratz horses quite commonly mistaken for Bratz horses but as I said these were a horse that came out and caused a lot of stir in the um, my little pony world for all the wrong reasons and they were pulled off the shelf shortly afterwards so I actually know collectors who want this an angel shined upon me <laughs> and as I was looking at new listings well their feet come off just like Brett's um, another reason people mistake them and as I was looking at new listings on the New Zealand um, equivalent site of eBay which is called trade me this came up and a woman had no idea what it was she figured it was a brat's horse and i picked it up just like that for six dollars and i was like oh my goodness i hope she doesn't see that this really hard to find <laughs> really hard to get i am very happy she is missing her clothing um she only has one of her bangles and her earrings etc i'm gonna have fun designing her own outfit but now you know about Strat's horses if you didn't before and what to look out for. This is, I believe, the oriental version. She's absolutely gorgeous. You know what? Say in the comments below if you knew what it was because there's not many people who do now since they were brought off the shelves as quickly as they came in. All right, something which was actually paid for mid-year and is a present to me but it did not arrive um they did not arrive until november so it was kind of put under the christmas tree <laughs> though i knew it was coming i play dota 2 occasionally um you will know what this is if you're a dota 2 player this is uh the aegis for uh 2018 i'll open up the official case there and it's absolutely beautiful it has a hook on the back which you can use to hang it on the wall this um, I think it cost around $200 New Zealand to get so I'm just giving you an approximate range there of the work involved to get there so it is metal and if I bring it up close I'll try and see you can see all the minions running around and all the detailing um, down here the Dota 2 Championships 2018 so this was something that was brought for me um, well I didn't provide the money but I, I effectively did the work towards it because you have to do some game work for it okay so this is something which actually took a lot of work and a lot of time as well as a lot of patience and a lot of money <laughs> to get but um, it's something that meant a lot to me as Dota 2 is one of my favorite games and one of the few games I actually play apart from World of Warcraft um, and it was something personal for me to from my family so I was really happy about that so that is going up on the wall 
Okay, my next present is very, very special to me as this is what my children picked for me for Christmas. It is a Miss Mindy vinyl Disney Showcase collection. She's absolutely gorgeous. Now, mini story about Minnie Mouse. In my, I'd say early 20s to mid 20s, I was really high pitched and I spoke really fast and sometimes it was really hard for people to understand me and because of this my best friend actually gave me a bit of a nickname of Minnie Mouse and <laughs> so I got the name Minnie Mouse and my children I guess cornered on to this through the years as my best friend and my best friend and I have been BFFs for near 20 years now. Um, he calls me Minnie Mouse still. Uh, he mostly calls me Kiwi now because <laughs> I have slowed down and I have got deeper. I hope. I think I'm still high pitched, but um, <laughs> I have trained myself to slow down so people understand me. So this is the Miss Mindy Minnie Mouse vinyl. Isn't she beautiful? And it's more special to me because my children went in and picked this as mummy. <laughs> So if, well, if you don't know what these are, these are designer vinyls from Disney and this is series one. So you've got Mickey, Minnie, Stitch, Ariel and Tink. I really want Stitch so I'm going to have to find Stitch somewhere. And so this is really, really cute and means a lot to me. This is the Christmas present from my children to me. Alright, okay, so it's no secret that if you know me, some of my friends watch my videos or if you're um, a longtime subscriber of mine, that my favourite Disney character is Stitch. I love Stitch. Um, <laughs> over all the Disney princesses, I love Stitch. He is, he just completes me in some way. He, he kind of, you know how you um, gravitate towards characters that are a bit like you. Um, He's a little crazy, he's a little out there, and I think he's me <laughs> in male form. So this was actually purchased for me by my best friend who I was just speaking of of 20 years. Um, he sent it over from the US um, because I'm going back to the US in August to spend a few weeks with him. It is a Disney lounge fly, so it's got the Disney lounge fly up there backpack, which I'm gonna bring over to the US and bring around all the amusements with me. It's got space for my mobile phone and all my little goodies and it is full of stuff. It, 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 we're not just ending here. He sent me a bunch of stuff because <laughs> he spoils me rotten. Um, in the front pocket it just has, I don't think I put anything in the front pocket, no. So let's open it up and oh my goodness. You know, I'm a bit of a gamer geek. As I said, I play Dota 2 and um, World of Warcraft, but I do appreciate games of all types, and I have played many over the years. <laughs> this is a Moogle, I think it is, from Final... Moogle or Mogul or something from Final Fantasy. Here we are, a Final Fantasy plushie. And he got these from the um, Final Fantasy uh, game convention or whatever it is. So these are all official figures. Let's put my hand in there again. Okay, so we've got a Final Fantasy. Um, when I was playing, I played a little healer. So this is the healer badge right here. Really cute and I love badges. I actually have a few badge collections which I've been meaning to show on camera at some point. You know, look out for that video if you love little badges and pins and things. A matching Disney lounge fly stitch purse. Check this out, so cute. Oh my goodness. I was tempted to do a um, separate video just with this, just to show, because I know a lot of people love my Pokemon lounge fly and um, Disney villain lounge fly, but I didn't feel right if, you know, my best friend's Christmas present was left out. How cute is that? All right, putting my hands back in there. Whoop, what are we grabbing this time? Oh, this is one of the um, the seated Nanamo. I don't know if that's what they're called, but they're from Final Fantasy, and they're these little elfin-like people. And 
So when he was at the Final Fantasy convention, um, he linked me this site which had all these little collectibles and he said pick one. I, I think he got something free or something. And I picked this because it is so adorable. I will do an unboxing of these Minnie Mouse and these little figurines in another video. But for now, I'm just going to put them to the side because there's so much stuff to get through. Okay. Diablo. I do not play Diablo. <laughs> A couple of my friends do. Um, uh, it's nothing that I know about, <laughs> so I'll just put that over there. <laughs> it's a cute key ring though. <gasps> okay, so these are Dota 2 pins, and um, like I said, I love pins, so if you're a Dota 2 player, you'll know what this is. We have, uh, we have Axe, Angry, Pudge, Spewing, and a Weeping Death Prophet. How cute is this? I mean, seriously, it's adorable. So I'm gonna find a lanyard to stick these on as I like to keep my pin collections on lanyards that match. Speaking of lanyard, so here we have a Final Fantasy lanyard. Uh, Final Fantasy, here we are. Fan Festival 2018. So that's where he got all his things. He has n no idea how much I try. I, I tr love all this sort of stuff and well he has an idea of how much but I was trying to get him to keep his stuff but you know he's just that sort of spirit where if you know somebody thinks something's cute he will always give it he's such a beautiful spirit so this is a magnet and this is a Final Fantasy whale looking thing I don't know what this is Matt what is this <laughs> it's adorable it's very um uh, Studio Ghibli if you know that sort of style it's so cute now there's something I grabbed which I saw oh yes 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 okay so these are um, Disney park pins and I love Disney park pins but you see this was $19.90 this is still Disney collectible pins um, the box lunch collection I think you can only get them from that there's a website for them I'll put the website down in the um, down below maybe it's this way these go oh now if you don't know what these are these are from um, the Disney movie Fantasia the original all the little Pegasus babies look at these pants they're so cute oh my lord I love them so incredibly much he he let me pick those out um, and I'm in love with those okay diving back in there all right, what else have we got in here? Oh, I'm getting to the bottom slowly. Okay. <laughs> uh, while he was at the convention, he went across. There was some sort of Coca-Cola place. Um, and Coca-Cola is one of my favorite drinks. Um, I know people are heavily against sugary drinks. There's all this thing on banning sugar or taxing sugar at the moment um, in my country. I think it's great everything in moderation including moderation itself as long as you do the exercise to work out what you put in you're okay you know <laughs> so this was $9.95 and this is a coca-cola pin awesome I love pins so much oh here we go we got a uh, another couple of pins <laughs> you're starting to detect a theme here Dota 2 Aegis pin right here fantastic love it and then on here he got me this blizzard Mer oh my goodness I'm dropped it I'm sorry one Megan and then there is this blizzard merlock pen who is done up like Illidan you'll understand what I'm talking about if you play the game it is so cute and these are all really masterful pins um these pins are top quality pins they don't have burrs on them they don't um have uh you know parts of them that are weak or anything like that they're all solid and they're fantastic i love them and i will do my pin collection sometime it'll just take some time gathering it all oh so last of all um from the store i loved love love this magnet i saw on the wall it is coca-cola in um this case and i love the 3d effect to it it's super duper solid super duper solid magnet and you can see the back there and it looks like it actually has a bottle opener on the back of the magnet which is kind of cute but i really love this so he picked that up for me as well and i think that's the last in there now 
There is something else he brought me, which um, goes along with the Disney Showcase collection. I'm gonna bring it up. I haven't put it on here because it makes me sad looking at it. In transit to me, it got broken. Without him or I even knowing that my children had brought me the Disney Showcase Minnie Mouse, he had brought me this Disney Showcase collection along with these pins from Lunchbox, which so I knew they were coming for my Christmas. Um, it was sent to me and unfortunately it, it is so beautiful but when it arrived oh, I'll just take her arm out the arm was broken you can see here the little bird that was on it the arm is broken the little hand is broken so it came off these two pieces have been snapped off and here she is i'm just going to show you how beautiful she is that um he got me and it was so incredibly sad here she is she's from the disney fantasia which went along with my pins um she was porcelain i've never seen her anywhere else and i'm very very sad he can't help it it's just sometimes the way um it goes when things are shipped from overseas so sad it makes me so sad little piece is broken so what i've done is i'm keeping her in her bag occasionally very rarely i will get porcelain pieces um, restored it is very expensive to get things restored which is why it's only worth doing them um, um, if they're worth a lot of money so i'm going to store her away and see see if um you know <laughs> sometimes down the road you get people who know how to do things i don't know how to restore porcelain figurines despite being able to restore dolls and stuff i don't know how to restore porcelain i can say that immediately <laughs> Okay, so I got a bit of money for Christmas and like most mummies when we get money and we're told to spend it on something we love, we, we immediately spend it on our children. That's <laughs> what we do. We actually feel bad spending money on ourselves so we always spend all our money on our kids which, you know, that's to be expected, that's what mummies do. However, when I got this little Struts horsey, I also found some Shan McLean Series 1 dolls. Now these were $20 New Zealand each. They have been out of box purely to clean them, but all their accessories and booklets and stuff are in the box. The lady just took them out to get dust off them, put them in, and she told me that um, the reason she was getting rid of them for so cheap was basically she was downsizing from her home into a caravan and she no longer had room for the um, box dolls um, she was worried about sending them as they have you know they are getting on an age and some of the boxes are not looking too great especially since they'd have to go through the postal system <laughs> if I wanted to pay cheap postage and um, I said it's absolutely fine with me I don't care as long as the dolls are good and uh, the accessories are there and you've just wiped them off with dust I'm fine with it so I got these for $20 New Zealand each. Now this is meant to be the complete series one wave. So here we have, hi, I'm Lulu. I live in London, England. You'll see that she wiggles around in her box because she's been taken out to dust, <laughs> to dust. But she is complete and you can see that the accessories are still in there, which I'm happy with. So this is Lulu. Then we have this little one. Uh, she is Pippi from Paris. Oh, her beret came off. Look how beautiful these dolls are. Now, Jeanne McLean um, lollipop girls are very takeable. Leave them. There are a lot of doll collectors who love them. There are a lot of doll collectors who don't love them. Um, sh she's mostly known for her porcel porcelain, porcelain, porcelain dolls, and I believe she is a New Zealand designer. I'll put that down in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty sure of that, but she does have a look to her faces, which are very baby dollish. So it's a take it or leave it look. I personally will take it because I think they're gorgeous. This is Cassie from Southern California. We then have Sissy from Australia. Bibi from the island of Barbados. Barbados, sorry. Barbados. Barbados. <laughs> and then Bridget from Berlin. 
So all these dolls have a lollipop in their hand. They are amazing hair. The hair on these dolls is amazing. And they all come with this baby, kind of a baby faced um, look to them, which is kind of a signature of Jan McLean. If you look up her porcelain dolls, they're beautiful and some of them are worth quite a lot. So, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like I've got all the six from series one, which um, she told me it was quite hard to get all the entire series one. It didn't really bother me because I was happy at $20 a doll, whether they're series one, series two, just the fact that they, <laughs> they were cheaper than what I had ever seen them available for. It was good. <laughs> Now I think one of them actually comes with a DVD which will be interesting to watch but these are beautiful and I am going to do um, box openings of two of them at a time. So there will be three videos coming up on the Lollipop Girls. Um, I can't wait. They were part of my Christmas. I'm going to put all my Christmas stuff back and let's have a look. Yay! This is my personal Christmas haul, what I got from others for Christmas and what I got out of my Christmas money for myself. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, a Stratz horse, I never thought I would be able to own one. Uh, my Stitch backpack and wallet and all my little pins and goodies here from my best friend. My Jean McLean dolls, which again was something that I honestly I thought I'd get them very sparsingly because they're about the $40 New Zealand range to buy one. <laughs> I got I got uh, six of them at $120 New Zealand. Um, this from my kids, which means so much to me because you know your kids, what they buy you is how they see you. And so they see me as little mini mouse still. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> And the Dota 2 International, which is something that I kind of got myself and my family got for me for Christmas at the same time. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. I've seen quite a few Christmas hauls up already and I was so happy to watch them because I think they're so lovely because these are always things that are filled with love and they just warm the heart and I love Christmas. It is one of my biggest happiest days of the year. I'm gonna put some photos of my kids after this video just showing you know some of their favorite things they got for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you're a subscriber of mine, thank you always guys for your support and for your love and all that sort of stuff. Um, I do this because it's something that because I'm a stay-at-home mum, <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm part of a community and all this sort of stuff. Um, it kind of, I make it my own like personal little job. <laughs> it, it feels great to share my toys and my finds and my children's toys and their finds with the rest of the world. Um, hopefully who are as into the toys as I am. I am wishing you a happy new year. I hope everything that you wish for comes true in the new year and um, that 2019 is going to be a good one. Thanks so much guys. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.